And I'm 14 years old. I'm from a place called Rocky Ridge. <laughs> my parents are Marlena Wilson and Curtis Begay. My grandparents are Washi Wilson and Betty Wilson. My name is Cody and I'm 14. My aunts are, my clans are Ken Sini, Baby Tony, and Gianni and she. And my, my mom and dad is, my dad's name is Nady Ozzy, my mom is Karina Ozzy. My name is Virginia Nez and my, I, I'm 14. My clans are Pet Nezani, Nat Ordinaire, my Skizik and the Sun Nishinoa, and I live in Where's Big Mountain at? Hi, my name is Petrina Yazi. Um, my clans are Tachini, Biba Totni, Tosotni, Gildeslane. I am 13 years old and I live at Hard Rock, Arizona. My name is Dylan. My clans are Chishe, Tabaha, and it's all new. My name is Delilah Lee Tapaha. I'm 14. My parents are Natalie and Vincent Tapaha. My clans are Chishin Nishla Hamagani, Bushes Chi, Natotene, Dasha Che, Mai Didi, Mai Didi, Dasha Nale. My name is Emmett. My clan is Natotene, Tachi Nishla, Toana, Bushes Chi, Chisha Dasha Ke, Kiani, Dasha Nale. And I'm 14 years old. And I live. At Rocky Ridge. My name is Tabaha. My name is Josh Badoni. Clans are Tatnazatni Tabaha. 
Yeah, shit, tall, honey. Um, four, I'm 13 years old. Uh, my family's are Anthony Bedoni. That's my dad's Anthony Bedoni. My mom's Geraldine Goy. My name is Maria Jacomi Gomez. My age is 13. My parents are June Jacomi and Robert Jacomi. And my clans are Tapaha Nisha, Nake Bushishchi, Nake Dashiche, Italian Dashinale. My name is Ronovan So, and my clan is Tedej Gizni, Shlin Chishabashi, Tutna Zetni Dashichate, Odejini Dashinale. And my age is 13. And my parents are Ronnie So, May So, and my sister is Deidre So, and my brother is Lawrence So. My name is Shamri Pitsuhi, and my clan are Nakedinan, Shlin Tenajini Bashishchi, Tutna Zetni Dashichate, Tohana Dashinale. My mom is Denise Pitsui. My dad is Stanley Pitsui. And I'm 14 years old. My name is Tiki Ozzy. I live in Hard Rock. I'm 14. And my parents are Robert Yazzi and Ella Yazzi. My clans are Kia Oni, Tutni Sutni, Tuahan, and Akirene. We, as the new youth, have so much to learn about our culture and history. We have been taught by our families that we are related to everything. We are ready to see, feel, and experience life as it surrounds us. The fire in the hoga is love. The heat, energy, and warmth keeps us together. It helps us bond as one strong nation. What I value the most about growing up in Neh would be the wide open space we have. I like the land and our people and just like the language. It's nice and peaceful and quiet and no pollution. I like how people herd their sheep. Being Navajo is wonderful because of the land, the animals and all the stories that you get told when you're a little girl. I like the modern teaching and the language I hear daily and the, my culture. I like the culture and the history and the ceremonies we put on. What I want others to know about the next cultures would be our traditions, our cultures, and there's good things in us that we value like our ceremonies. I want them to know about our c culture and our histories. I want them to know how we live and how hard it is to grow up out here and our language because it's very important to us. That we come from a strong people. That we're beautiful people and we have a beautiful culture too. Growing up Dine, we learn to speak our language. It is very valuable to us. Our language tells stories, songs, and prayers. Our language is the strength of our culture. We are taught to think, nonsin kiss. To plan, not uh, to live in na, uh, and to reflect on our lives. Shahosin, we have to use our language as a weapon to protect our culture, our dinna, land, water, air, and future. The importance of the land and water would be that it's sacred to us and we don't want to lose it. It is important to livestock to drink, crops for us to eat, and water for us to keep us hydrated. Our water is going down, and it's just we need water, but we don't really need that. 
on stuff that's floating around the air. The um, nature, it surrounds us with like peace and the water for to grow crops, animals, and it's just good to have water here. Well, the land, it's very beautiful. It's shape, it's color, and the water, it's like very special. So we have plants out here, we grow our crops, we have living stock that we need to feed, and also we need to feed ourselves. It's a part of our culture, our clan, our, I don't know what to call it, I think religion, I think. Why is the land and water important in the culture and yourself? Because it's sacred to us. We know we need to adapt to climate change to keep protecting our lives because the air is still being polluted by fossil fuels. We know that climate change will affect the way we raise sheep, grow corn, and collect plants for ceremonies and uses in the home. We know that climate change will affect the amount of water and the purity of water. We need the future generations to know that their choices affect their future. Just like present time today, our choices are affecting our future. The thing that's putting land and water at risk today would be pollution. People stealing our water and using it for the coal mines that we have out here. Using it for coal to make electricity in the big cities. And they're polluting the air, burning coal, using our land. There's pollution that's giving out bad air from the power plants. And it's going basically all over the reservation. People in the city are polluting the air, so it's putting the land at risk. And we are creating too much road, which is making dust fly everywhere, which is covering up most of the green, green areas. And the water is being taken by coal mines and electricity plants. Some people don't really care about the land, but we, us natives, we care about the land and, and water. The poisoning of our secret elements are putting our future at risk. Coal mines, power plants, and the taking of our waters are changing the way we live. The land and water is very sacred to us in our culture, and we plan to protect it. I want to go to the government. I want to go to Obama. <laughs> and tell them to stop everything that's putting our earth and our world to danger. I will get ideas from other people to protect it and I will go to college to see what I can do and get a degree in lawyer, see if I can, and try to sue big companies like coal mines and you, that use up too much water. Well, I'm going to follow my goals, finish college, and try to find some way to help the reservation. Stay here, live my whole life, and protect the land. Stay at home. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Try keeping it clean. Keep it clean. Try to. Keep it clean. I would go to college and get a degree and help out with our, our land. I will go get a college education and come back and help my land and community. What I would do when I'm an adult, I would finish high school and college and then I would come back here and help with our land and our water to keep it for the next generation, I guess. 
As young people, we live in a contemporary world. We have hopes and dreams like all young people. But we have responsibilities too. We know that we have responsibilities to protect land, air, and water, and that the Hogan is sacred to us. Our strengths come from our Diné culture and teachings, history, and language. We gain strength from the Navajo lands, water, and air, and the fire in the Hogan is what keeps us together. The land, air, and water between the four sacred mountains of the Diné is like a huge Hogan for our Navajo Nation people. This is our home. The sacred mountains bring hope and some security for future generations of Diné. Yeah!